Hi! No, I'm not gonna do my ad kid impression. Let's play Alice is Dead, episode one by Impending Riot from Legit Games. Art and story by Hyptosis, programming and story by Mike M. The instructions are easy, it's just a point and click game where you can combine items. I have played through this and beaten this game. That's the only reason I'm gonna play a point and click game is because I already know that I know how to beat it. Hmm. I'm adjusting the volume because the volume's really quiet right now, but I'm pretty sure it records louder. So, I'm gonna go kind of fast because it did take me a while and I just want to show off what we have. What we've got here is the starting screen. And there's something lying on the ground right here. It's a bottle that says drink me, but it's empty. And then there's obviously dead skeletal Alice here. Alice has seen better days. Um, I can steal one of the bones from her leg. And that's what her face looks like. Alice doesn't smile as much as she used to. Clicking all around, I don't see anything else that stands out. So I go back, and now her head is turned around. Ah, but I do see something here in her pocket. And it is a note that says, kill the rabbit. Up top, this is the hole you fell in. Climbing back out is impossible. No matter how hard you push or pull, the door won't open. You can probably barely hear the music in the background, and that's fine because the mu there's a walkthrough for this, but I can tell you I didn't use the walkthrough. Uh, the music gets louder when you turn to that right here. You think that you're asleep. So here's a stone on the ground, a bit of rock. Now I'm thinking I can pick up the shovel, and I just totally rip the handle off of the shovel. Whoever we are, we have hands like a gorilla. The fancy chest is locked, but the music seems to be coming from it, so we want to get in here. Let's use my stick. I try to pry it open, but it won't budge. Well, let's hit it with a bone. The bone is too large to fit into the lock, then let's throw a stone against it. Slam the rock, but nothing happens. Okay. Uh, these little things don't do anything. The vine doesn't do anything. So on this screen, I've got shackles that don't do anything. There's a ladybug. No, holy crap, there's a spider. Let's try and kill it with the bone. You could hit it, but if you miss, then let's try to kill it with the rock. Just leave it alone. No, let's try to kill it with the stick. It looks dangerous. Better not bother it. I want to bother the hell out of the spider. The spider scares the crap out of me. Ah, there's a playing card. Five of hearts with something written on it that you can't make out. Um, nothing else on this screen seems to be clickable. And we're back here, so... Let's try combining some items. Let's combine the rock and the bone. <gasps> you sharpen the bone. Who would think that a rock and bone equals lock pick? Nothing happens when you try to pick the lock. Well, what about if we try to pick this lock? Something unlocks. No matter how hard you push or pull, the door won't open. Well, that's confusing. Holy crap, the chest is open. So let's head downstairs. What do we have here? This goes back upstairs. This is a tree trunk filled with acid. Well, let's fill up the bottle with full of acid. And nothing else seems clickable. I love this music, by the way. The Boogeyman. Okay. Ooh, there's a key card scanner. Let's try our five of hearts. Bingo! It won't budge. Let's try and pick the lock. This lock isn't going to be picked. Okay, let's beat the door down. There's nowhere to wedge it in. Ah! Alright. Oh, holy crap! That is the creepiest crossing guard ever. And we can't get through the web to get to it. But there is this sticky sap up here. So let's put sap on the end of the stick. Yeah. Hey, hush, hush. And now, let's put the bone on the end of the stick. Make a nope, snore, not gonna happen. Creepy. Not gonna happen. This you um, want all. So we throw the acid on top of the web. 
And now the caterpillar's not going to let us through. His pimp cane and his stop sign are more than a match for us. But then, just to be a total bastard, he's got that monocle and that bell. Oh look, our bottle shattered and now we have a shard of glass. How about we stick that on the end of this stick, and now we've got a spear, and boom, you're dead. Unfortunately, you can't pick up the pimp cane or the spear, but you can get his nifty bell, his monocle, and this key. So we'll head back. We've got a key. The key unlocks the door, and there is a briefcase inside, but apparently it's locked. You need to find these numbers. Hmm. Now, it's got six numbers, each going from zero to nine, which is ten numbers, which means the combination is ten to the sixth power, which is like a million different combinations. Actually, no. Yeah, a million different combinations on that lock. So, let's go back upstairs and see if this is unlocked now. No, it's not. Let's ring the bell. Nope, the bell didn't unlock it. And the key doesn't fit the lock. Hmm. Well, the trick here is we've got this monocle. And when we look through the monocle, we see these little notes. I'm hungry. Die. Die. Kill the wabbit. Kill the wabbit. Kill the wabbit. Kill the wabbit. Just open. Why won't it open? Why? I miss home. Rabbit, help me. And you can tell that's where she ended up right there. I don't feel well today. Considering that this is where she died, we should take... Well, what I'm getting at is there's this number 8 up here. I hate you. And considering the 8 was the last number she probably wrote, we'll go... We'll start from here. Here comes the bogeyman. So here I still hear it, which she's probably talking about the music. Two. It's funny now. I think I'm sick. I'm sick. My friend. Why won't this open? So we've got a two. Next screen. I don't feel well. There's a nine. I don't like it here. I think I'll stay home today. I want to leave. Another two, so two, nine, two. Frickin' spider bastard. Die. Why can't I kill the spider? The bell doesn't get rid of the spider. Nothing gets rid of the spider. Two, nine, two. Okay. I've been bad. No one knows. I've been bad. I've been bad. There's a zero. Two, nine, two, zero. I found it. Three. Quiet. Quiet. Two, nine, two, zero, three. And then an eight. So let's try that as the combination. I don't actually remember what order the numbers go in. Um, from the actual. So it was what? Two, nine, two, zero, three, eight. And I know for sure that that's not the right combination because that's the combination I used last time. I then moved the numbers one over each time and I had to move them twice. So it's actually 382. Dang it. 38290. No, it's not 382920. Okay, zero three eight two nine two. Now I don't know. We gotta hurry so we can get this done by the end. Zero three eight two. Come on, click 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 click. Two. No. Okay, so two zero. Well, let's go with the one that I didn't try, which was eight two nine. Eight two. I passed it. Nine. Two, which I just got rid of because I'm an idiot. Zero, three. There we go. Popped it open. You've won for now. I opened the briefcase. 
inside the briefcase spelled wrong as well. I look in and remember who I am. The rabbit. I am the rabbit. And someone in Wonderland wants me dead. To be continued. This is episode one. It was just posted on Newgrounds. So, we have no clue when episode 2 will come out, but there's episode 1. I like the game. It was kind of freaky. Uh, the puzzles were kind of difficult. It was real fun when I was playing through it to have that little monocle look around and read all of the different um, notes that were written. And especially, there's a lot of hatch marks there, like little tally marks, and I thought those would be significant, but it's just the numbers in the circles. Unless I completely miss something. But there you go. Alice is Dead, Chapter 1. I'm very sad. I love Alice in Wonderland. One of my favorite books, one of my favorite Disney movies. Until next time, goodbye.